There are two basic types of governments in the world. One is the power flows down from those at the top, the dictator, the authoritarian leader, the military leader. And then there's our beautiful democratic republic where power flows up from the people. This just goes to the, the heart of every American. We start out our constitution, we the people. We talk about the ballot box as the pulsating heart of our country. So it's no wonder we come back to this moment time and time again defending the sacred right of every citizen to vote. As we ponder the discussion we're in now, I keep having two images come back to my mind. And one is John Lewis leading that band of 600 up Edmund Pettus Bridge to encounter the, the, the state troopers in Alabama and being willing to take that beating and show up for protests and march time and time thereafter because it mattered so much. Because if you have the power to vote, you have the power to be listened to. You have the power to participate. And if you don't have the vote, you're on the sidelines and you're ignored. And then we have in that same year, 1965, Lyndon Johnson signing that bill and he said the most powerful instrument ever devised is the power to vote. It's the most powerful instrument for creating justice. So here we are in another chapter of this ongoing battle. And we can't even get a bill to the floor of the U.S. Senate to discuss it. This is just beyond unacceptable in a republic that the legislative body can't even start the bill, even, can't even start entertaining amendments. So here we are looking at the, the perversion of something that in its best format was the ability to hold an extended discussion so that every voice in the Senate could be heard, so that there was leverage to seek compromise, so that there was leverage to seek amendments. It has been perverted into a veto that means the minority in America make the decisions, not the majority. We need to restore the vision of extended debate where every senator is heard, but no senator has a veto so that we can address the most important issue in the republic, protection of the ballot box. Senator Padilla.